Hey, good morning. You know, peace and blessings to everyone. Um, this message is really for anybody, but specifically for, you know, ones who are chosen, you know, who walk the narrow path of God, Yahweh. Um, I want to talk about the normalization of, you know, demonic agendas in society, um, specifically America. You know, I'm American, so I can speak for America, you know, personally. I can attest to that in the agendas. Um, it's really just to mock God, discredit God, um, to normalize, um, you know, to, to, to destroy, you know, God's, you know, credit, um, you know, transgenderism, um, abortion, um, you know, homosexuality, bisexuality, um, you know, marriage is destroyed, um, you know, they mock Jesus, you know, God, you know, TV shows, you know, uh, movies, uh, social media. Um, you know, you see young, two young girls, uh, fly Yana or something, you know, you know, openly mocking God, you know, saying, you know, uh, hello, Jesus, you know, I'm about to sin, you know, things of that sort, you know, craziness. Um, they're given over to a, a reputable mind, you know, like the apostles, um, Paul said, um, in the Bible, um, People are given over to a reputable mind, which means, you know, they're most likely demon-possessed, you know, fully, or they have demonic strongholds in their life. You know, and people seek to, you know, curse God, you know, for it, you know, but they don't understand that it's just, you know, your upbringing. You know, it's narcissistic, you know, family curses um, that are on your soul and also you adding to it by, you know, sinning and, you know, having a reprobate, having a reprobate mind, um, excuse me, you know, uh, it has nothing to do with God. God gives all free will. God doesn't force, you know, worship on anybody, you know, so you can't really blame God, you know, for, you know, having demons, you know, it's just the truth. People seek to, you know, discredit God, you know, through their own, you know, choices. It, it, it makes no sense. And, you know, you're digging a deeper hole in a, in a bigger, you know, sentence, you know, in hell. Um, hell is for eternity. Um, there's no escaping it, you know. It's inevitable, you know, like the movie Avengers, you know, when Thanos, you know, came to, you know, Jesus and Yahweh, you know, Yeshua and Yahweh, they're inevitable. Um, you know, people seek to discredit God, you know. They want to blind the masses, you know. Do, do do entertainment um, to believe, you know, oh, you know, God is just, a, uh, you know, he's gone or he doesn't exist or, you know, a lot of craziness, you know, reputable mind, you know, type of agendas. Um, Yahweh is real. Yeshua is real. He died for our sins, you know, so we'd be able to get to heaven, you know. It's just the truth. People need to get close to God. End times are here. Cloak yourself in the arm of God. And if you are chosen, um, you need to guard your association. People with a reputable mind, you know, they will seek to distract you. That's their only tactic. You know, Satan cannot harm you if you are chosen. Um, you're born with the Holy Spirit. You know, you're here for a higher purpose, a higher goal in life, you know, which is to bring people close to God in these end times. You most likely were activated, you know, spiritually in 2020. You know, me, myself, I was as well. Um, maybe before. But a lot of us were activated in 2020, whether you know it now or you're just realizing it, you know, by listening to this video. Um, but it's just the truth. Um, God put you through things, you know, whether it was narcissistic, you know, family relationships, um, environments to activate you um, spiritually, to set you on your path. You know, God will bless you. You know, God puts you through things. He has to. You know, God has. God cannot show us, you know, favor. You know, and just bless us the whole way. He has to put us through the fire so we'll come out a diamond, you know. We're the light of this world, and we must shine. Um, but, yeah, you know, Satan's demonic agenda is basically to discredit God in any way. You know, he has women, you know, whoring themselves out, you know, so they won't get married. Um, you know, their children will most likely be out of wedlock, you know, and it's, it's dysfunctional. Excuse me. It's dysfunctional. It's narcissistic you know, family, you know, cursed bonds. It's it's it's, it's trauma bonds, it's 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 dysfunction. Um women don't respect marriage. You know the women of our American society are all, you know, 
at least 80 percent you know low value you know as of you know my generation and maybe a generation before they're all low value um you know they don't understand that you know men are the keys you know to you know their life you know women eve you know was born to be adam's helper um you know and not not to say women should be dumbed down you know or or put you know, in a place, you know, so to speak, as people say, but, you know, you're supposed to bring spiritual value to your husband. You're supposed to add. It's, it's, it's a spiritual partnership. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's a spiritual partnership. Um, you know, people need to realize that women especially, you know, y'all more emotionally thinking, you know, y'all, y'all grow up, you know, at 16, you know, y'all play with Barbies your whole life, and you think, you know, the world is all glitz, glamour, and makeup, and, and you know, when you get 30, you know, you, you can't find a good man to save your life, you know? So it, it's, it's just the reality. And, and, you know, they wonder why, you know, they blame men. They choose to blame men. Oh, your men aren't ish and, you know, all this stuff. But no, but you, you're whoring yourself out, you know, your 20s and your early 30s, you know, and they wonder why men don't take you serious, you know, because they see through you. You're, 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 you're used up, you're washed up, you know, because you couldn't you know, sit down and follow the biblical order. You know, it's, it's really not that hard. As a man, you know, and, and they say men are more hornier than I've been on team retention for almost half a year, you know, and it, it gets hard sometimes, but it's, it's doable, you know, so women can do it. You know, women just choose not to. Um, they want everything their way. They want their cake and eat it too, but, you know, they never get the cake, you know, because at the end of their prime is 18, you know. The, the end of a woman's prime is 18, you know, that's through Satan's world or biblically, you know, so it's, it's, it's just reality, you know, women don't understand it, you know, they drag it out, you know, as long as they can, I guess, you know, until they meet, you know, that Ahab man that they, you know, specifically pick out, you know, to, to put up with their BS, you know, and they deal with him for the rest of their life, you know, that's their fate, you know, so it is what it is, you know, do not let Satan's demonic agendas, you know, ruin your whole trajectory of being great spiritually, you know, able to get access to heaven, and, you know, and be a good person. Um, you know, personally, I've dealt with a lot of women, you know, who are of, of a reparable mind. You know, they only, you know, seek to use men to get whatever they want out of them. And if they aren't happy, um, you know, they'll go left, you know. And not, not just, you know, from personal relationships, just through analyzing, you know, urban, you know, relationships my whole life. You know, and I finally got a few of my own, you know, got a you know a, a glimpse of what it was and it's just not for me it doesn't make any sense business wise you know people are narcissistic you know regardless so they're just you know linking up with people who you know add to their social value but don't add no value to their life um you know people are given to to you know stunt flex you know as they call it you know of a lifestyle you know and be miserable behind closed doors you know that's a reputable mind you know God wants you to be happy. You people are happy to God. Um, a couple was supposed to, you know, join together and serve Yahweh together, you know, and be in unison. Um, you know, I don't want to speak too much on the LGBT community because, you know, I don't want to get blocked, you know, on YouTube. You know, but this is not a message of hate. You know, I love all people. Um, I respect all people. But biblically, you know, it, it is not something that God favors, you know, I'll just say it like that. Um, but me personally, as a per you know, I have family, you know, of that community, and I don't judge them, you know. I just, you know, seek to share information, but I cannot make them, you know, see the truth. You cannot, you know, bring somebody to the water and, you know, watch them drinking as well. They have to drink it themselves. So, you know, I just share the biblical message. Um, so that's all I will say on that. Um... But yeah, you know, the devil's agenda is to erase God, you know, from people's, you know, attention, you know, so to speak, with everything else, you know, that the world is to offer. You know, I've personally watched people I know, you know, lose their souls, you know, literally. Um, and it's sad, you know, from my point of view, you know, they feel like, you know, I'm, 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 I feel like I'm better than them or I need to be humbled or you know, this, that, and the sort. No, I just was born with the Holy Spirit, you know, and I'm here to help you, you know, if you will allow me, you know, but you're too busy, you know, sinning. You're too busy, you know, being distracted. You're too busy trying to look cool for people who hate you, you know. Everybody in this world 
hates each other. You know, it doesn't make any sense. Um, people are mentally unstable. They're crazy um, to not see that. You cannot, you know, go to Yahweh. You know, you have to go to go through Yahweh to get access to heaven. You know, it's going to be a point in time, you know, where Yahshua says, you know, I do not know you. And which means, you know, you have to, you know, burn for eternity. And you, you, you cannot try to plead your case, you know, by saying, you know, no, but, you know, you know, I wanted to look cool, you know, and stuff like that. You, you're going to look you're going to look foolish. You're going to look insane. You're, you, it's not going to make any sense because you can go to heaven and receive whatever you want it's heaven you know i don't think people understand that you know but i also have to understand that people have a reputable mind this means that you know they lost god in their life you know since 2020 and that's just how that's just how the devil's agenda played out um the devil knows his time is up um so he's attacking people you know women specifically you know you know they say women you know uh rule the world and stuff like that but you know all these women are miserable you know they live whores lifestyles you know they have no value um they bring no value to a man's life you know you know they'll get with a guy you know who's you know a little timid little you know whatever um how you say uh uh uh, uh nerdy and 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 you know he'll probably be the best man that they ever meet you know but you know their genes will tell them you know to be with a toxic male who doesn't really care about them who's most likely you know, 99.9% .9 of the time, you know, bisexual, you know, to, to you know, toxic, you know, sociopathic, um, narcissistic, um, you know, male, you know, that's the male they'll choose, you know, do genes, do, 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 you know, genetic, you know, satanic um, programming, you know, excuse me, programming is a word, you know, demonic programming, you know, the women of America, they're, they're under a demonic program. You know, through generations, you know, to seek a male, you know, that is, you know, bisexual, um, narcissistic, sociopathic, um, you know, just not, you know, good for them. You know, it doesn't make any sense. Um, you know, biblical order is for men and women to get married, you know, and have kids, you know, so more people can have access to heaven. You know, we are God's love. We are created out of his image. You know, God seeks to, you know, bring us to paradise, you know. God made Adam first for a reason. You know, women should not lead, you know, a, a marriage. I, I'm not going to say, you know, women shouldn't be, you know, the president or something. You know, I can't really say that, you know, in my personal, you know, opinion. But in a marriage, you know, the man has to be the head of the household. The man has to, you know, run the ship, steer the ship, as they say. You know, me personally, you know, I've been in situations where, you know, I try to go 50 50 you know with the woman and you know it doesn't work out you know because women are emotional they only care about their feelings and their feelings are demonically programmed to bring them to hell so you know it, it doesn't really make sense to you know allow a woman to steer your ship you have to be speaking for men excuse me speaking for men you know that are chosen you have to steer your ship you have to make sure you and your spouse are serving yahweh you know, correctly following, you know, Yeshua's teachings correctly. You know, because women are spiritually weaker, you know, they're illogical, they think illogically. They don't think off of logic, they think off of only emotions. And emotions will give you a, a golden ticket, you know, to the devil's chocolate factory, you know. And, and the devil is Willy Wonka, and you know, and, and it is what it is. And it's just the blatant, honest truth. And, you know, that's just what it is. And peace and blessings, you know, cloak yourself with the arm of God, you know, if you are chosen. And if you are not chosen, you can gain the Holy Spirit. You have to accept God in your life. You have to realize that this world is ending. It's burning, smoking. It's a car that you didn't, you know, we done used to go to work, you know, for like 10 years, you know, and it's done. It's, just, it's coming to an end. You know, the mufflers banged up, the alternators messed up, you know, the carburetors sm got smoke coming out of it, the, the tires are barren, um, you know, the gas is leaking, the antifreeze is, you know, running out every day, um, you know, it, it's the end times. Mark of the Beast is here, you know, the chip or the neural link. Um, a lot of things are happening, and it says Jesus will come like a thief in the night. And, you know, from my analytical, analytical excuse me, analytical view, point of view, um, people don't care um, or they don't realize it. 
And it's most likely, you know, because they're of a reparable mind. They don't understand or they seek to not understand. They seek to be distracted. You know, they seek to blame God, you know, for the things they go through. And it's just not very smart. Um, God is not the reason why people live in sin. You know, God is not the reason why people are miserable. You know, God is not, you know, the, 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 the fault of that. It is only the devil, Lucifer, you know, Satan, whatever you want to call him. Um, he is weak. He seeks to bring you to damnation along with him. That's his only agenda. And he'll do it whatever way he can, you know, through TV, social media, um, your friends, your environment, your family. Um, and he'll do it, you know. He'll, he'll try to get the job done, you know, in peace and blessings.